There's a carbon, then got hydrogen, then also one of the oxygen. Okay, this one is a, the structure molecule of the alcohol. Okay, now we're going to see the uh, meaning of the alcohol first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, from here, there's an organic carbon. Okay, organic carbon. After that, compound, carbon, carbon compounds. Huh? Before that, the starting we learned already, there's a carbon compounds. Okay, with contain of the carbon. Okay, contain with the carbon, hydrogen, and also the oxygen. Okay, they compound three things. Huh? So from here, we continue. Alcohol is prepared through the, okay, the process you want to produce the alcohol. There's a fermentation. Okay, fermentation process. Okay, by using the action of the yeast. Okay, they're using the yeast on the food containing the glucose. Or you say the starch. Glucose just like the sugar. Okay, but this one is more, uh, more concentration one. Because starch, we call glucose. Such as a sugar, grapes. Grapes, you can say apples also got. Okay, then after that, they're using the rice, the wheat, the potato also can. These all, they got produce the glucose. Actually, they can build the uh, alcohol. Okay, so we're going to see example, sugar cane. Okay, sugar cane, they also got sugar. Okay, they also can be built for the alcohol. Something, they got starch. Lah. That means they can build example here. They say sugar. They say sugar cane, rice, grapes. After that, uh, the veil and also the potato. These all also got the carbohydrate or you say sugar. Okay, carbohydrate and also the something is sweet one. They can produce about the alcohol. Okay, then we're going to see the alcohol preparation process. Okay, we're using the just now fermentation, is it? So from the fermentation process, the zimase, one of the enzymes in the yeast, they call zimase. Okay, they convert the glucose into the ethanol and also carbon dioxide. Okay, when you see the word OL, you see alcohol, H-O-L is it? <clears throat> ethanol, they also end with OL. That one is a type of the alcohol. They got different name only. Okay, ethanol is a one type of the alcohol. So that means the zime is one of the enzyme from the yeast. They want to make the glucose. Glucose is a complex. They make it become simple. That means you go to break lah. Example, our body, we're going to eat something, is it? The chicken breast so big. Okay, when you go inside your body, they got enzyme. The enzyme will help to separate. Okay, go to filter something where to eat, uh, where to put, somewhere to put. So that means enzyme is something go to uh, digest. Digest the bigger part becomes smaller part. So this one, digestion also from the yeast, they make it to convert glucose into the ethanol and also the carbon dioxide. Ethanol and carbon dioxide means there's a simple lah, already separate from the uh, glucose. So from here, you can see the diagram. Okay, yeast. Okay, inside got enzyme. After that, there's a zimase. Ah. After when they just reaction, they produce the CO2 and also the ethanol. Okay, they also the ethanol. So from here, they show you the equation. So equation, you must know ah, for the formation. Start from the glucose, then up, you must put zimase. Zime is a one of the enzyme in the yeast. Then they produce what? Ethanol and carbon dioxide. So they mean later they produce the gas sure is a carbon dioxide and the liquid that one should be the ethanol. Okay, but the ethanol we need to filter. You cannot straightforward there's an ethanol, but there's a not pure ethanol. That means you need to do the process of distillation to separate some of the different things in the ethanol. We need to separate. That means I have the pure alcohol to produce. The pure alcohol to produce, we call it as an ethanol. Okay, so from here we continue. Okay, let's see the process. They're using three different of the experiment to produce the alcohol. Okay, first one, they're using the sugar. Sugar solutions. So from here, the 100 gram of the sugar and 50 cm cube of the distilled water into the beaker. Okay, put in the beaker. Stir and mix together. So that means you make the sugar dissolve in the liquid first. Okay, until they form a sugar solution. Now you need to add. So you create the solution first, uh, sugar solutions. After that, you add 10 grams of the yeast into the sugar solutions. After that, they pour the mixtures into the conical flask. So this is a conical flask. Lah. Now that means sugar solution and yeast is together. Okay, that means that we do the reactions. When the yeast... 
mix together with the sugar solutions. After that, you put a tube, test tube, uh, one tube joint with the test tube. After that, here, they will produce the gases. Okay, so from here, they're using the lime water to test. Okay, so lime water from Malay, we call it uh, air kapo. Okay, so that means if there's a carbon dioxide to produce, later your lime water becomes chalky. Chalky means just like the chalk color. Okay, air kapo. Okay, so they become blur like a little bit. So from here, this one is the first round. We use the sugar, go to test. Okay, second part, set B. We're using the same mixtures, but now I'm using the bread. Okay, bread or carbohydrate. Okay, after that, they put the distilled water and stir. Okay, after that, add again the 10 gram of the yeast mixed together. Okay, the process is the same. Just you're using the different object. Okay, now it's a mixture of the bread and also the yeast. Okay, third round, they also test by using mixtures of the banana. Okay, banana is a fruit. Okay, yeast and also distilled water. Okay, three different situations. We're going to see what's happened. Okay, after this one, the observation from three different set of the experiment, the mixtures of the conical flask after a week. Okay, you cannot immediately to get the result. Okay, after a week, they find the mixtures become chalky. Okay, mixtures, because you mix together, finally you cannot see anything what they mix together. So become chalky and faulty. Okay, after that, you can see about the lime water become chalky also. Okay, when starting is a, is a, 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 can go through one. That means there's an opaque one. That means there's a no color, colorless. But after a bit, you find it become blur already. All the water become blur and choky. So this one result, they produce for three sets of the experiment. Okay, so from here, we need to do the discussion. Okay, about just now experiment. Why is the mixtures of the cornica flask 40 and also the lime water become choky after a week? So from here, you're going to see what happened. Carbon dioxide gas is released during the fermentation process. So when the carbon dioxide just released, they can make the whole thing become choky. Okay, there's a not clear or become just like the a mixtures. Okay. Blur already, all the liquid become blur, you cannot see clear already. So this one we call it as a carbon dioxide is produced. Okay, normally you want to test carbon dioxide, we must using the lime water. Then we can see what's the result. If the lime water is no changes, there means no carbon dioxide. If you find it become choky, that means they got carbon dioxide produced. Because we cannot test what is it. They produce the gas, we also don't know what gas. Gas is no color one, we cannot see anything. So from here, they ask you, name the process that occur in this one experiment. This one process will produce the alcohol. We call it as a fermentation. Okay, we need to complete the equation for the process fermentation. First, we're using crocos. Okay, after that, the croco you plus together with the yeast. Okay, what they produce? Then they got enzyme, is it? The enzyme is a zimase. After that, they produce is a ethanol. Ethanol means the liquid. Okay, then after that, they got carbon dioxide. Okay, this one is the equation for the fermentations. That means finally, they will produce the alcohol. This one, alcohol, the name we call ethanol. Then sure got carbon dioxide. Okay, so from here, we need to do distillation process because we need to get the pure alcohol. Okay, this one is a process of the distillations. Okay, let's see the distillations. After a week, you filter the mixtures into a conical flask. Just now, you add sugar. Another one, you add the bread. Another one, you add the banana. Okay, so either everyone, you go to filter. Filter the mixtures into the conical flask and pour into the uh, filtrate into the distilled flask. Okay, now you see, they put inside here. Distill the content in the distillation flask. After that, you need to collect the distillate at the temperature. Okay, remember the temperature for fermentation distillation. There's a 78 degrees Celsius. You need to heat it, okay, until 78 to 80 something. Don't 100, 100 no more already, okay, because you know lah, alcohol. Alcohol, the boiling point sure is lower than the water. Okay, water 100 is it. 
alcohol is less than 100. So around 78, uh, they become liquid already, become gas, gas first. Then the gas with condensation back become liquid, is it? So from here, they go to heat. Just now the mixtures, they go to heat. Okay, after heat around 78 degrees Celsius, you can observe all the gas is up. Then the gas will go through to the lipid condenser. Okay, lipid condenser is a one of the tube. The function is what? Condensation back the gas. Okay, just now the gas just go in the tube. That means inside the lipid condenser, they got liquid. They got liquid click flowing. So the liquid is cool a bit. Then the gas is a hot. So that means liquid and gas cover together. Finally, the gas can condensation back, become liquid. So this one liquid, they will drop into the beaker. So this one liquid, there's a pure liquid because they come from the uh, steaming. Steam until 78, they produce the gas. This one gas is condensation back. That one is a pure uh, ethanol, pure of the alcohol they produce. How to make the alcohol produce become more pure, increase the uh, puration? That means they do the distillation process. From the liquid, make it to become gas, then condensation back. That means all the rubbish, rubbish thing, we never take it. Okay, we just want to take the, all the gases that flow up, then come back to the liquid. So the mixtures, mixtures thing, we do want to take. So from here, you observe and record the color and smell of the collected distillate. So from here, the, the, uh, the, the color and also the smell. Uh. For first one, it is a colorless, no color one. Okay, the ethanol actually is no colors one. Then you go and find that one, the ethanol, the alcohol. Well, I got strawberry one. After that, you got brown color one. That one is a color put in. Okay, actually, there's a no color, colorless. And also, there has a alcoholic, okay, alcoholic. That means they got alcohol smell, okay, from the alcohol. From the ethanol, lah, there's a one type of the alcohol. They got one of the smell just like the acid, very strong one, okay, they just to come out. Okay, so this one is uh, how to produce the alcohol. Fermentation and also add distillations. Okay, finally, the product is uh, ethanol and also the carbon dioxide. So after that distillation, that means they produce a pure of the alcohol. Then there's a no color and also alcoholic smell. Okay, physical and properties of the alcohol. You see what's the physical? First one, no color, colorless, liquid at room temperature, just a room temperature uh, for the liquid, then never high temperature, never low temperature, then has a distinctive smell, that means the smell is very strong one. After that, the boiling point increasing when it is number of the carbon atom increase. Just now I told you they got carbon, they got hydrogen, they got oxygen. If the carbon is more, more and more, means the boiling point will be increasing. You take longer time to boil, okay? So the solubility in the water decreases when the number of the carbon increase. If the number of the carbon is more, when they just put in the water, they're not easy to dissolve, okay? They're still there, they take longer time. So they say solubility in the water decreases. Not easy, mixtures with the water. They take some time like, if the carbon is more. So can I say the carbon is more means the more concentration. Kepekatan semakin tinggi. Uh, so you compare like your Casper, uh, your Casper and also XO different. Uh, okay. So that one, one is a beer, one is a, a alcohol. So that means uh, you see what's the difference. Uh? One is a carbon should become strong. Uh? So that's why they find it uh, the boiling point and also the solubility is a changes. Okay. If normal beer, just a simple only, the carbon should be less lah, for the, compared to the Hennessy or the XO. Okay, after that, six, easy to evaporate. If compared to the alcohol, faster to evaporate. So the simple alcohol now, everybody also got just like your sanitizer. Now they also put the alcohol, is it? So when you just spray, you find a little bit cooler, cooler for your head. Okay, you go to injection, also same. They go put one of the, Put after that, the, <clears throat> they'll put one of the thing, cool one to your body. After that, they, before the injection, is it? That one is the alcohol. Okay? They put a one of the uh, 
the the cloth they go to sapu your hand is it ah that one is a alcohol so another one are flammable okay so that's why they say when you just using the sanitizer you wrap your hand ready wash your hand you don't go to touch about anything is a flammable one okay just something just baka ah then your hand faster to be gonna the fire so this one is a characteristic for the uh, alcohol then we need to see this one is a physical is it physical means we can see from the outside okay what's the difference for the alcohol okay we also got chemical chemical means we need to do the process then we know the result okay this one is no need to do the process you also can see it okay now you can see the chemical properties of the alcohol okay from the combustion okay we need to burn we see what happened for the alcohol Okay, first one, they say they measure 2 cm cube of the ethanol. Uh, ethanol is an alcohol. Uh, using a measuring cylinder and pour into the evaporating dish. Now you need to ignite the ethanol into the evaporating dish. Observe and record the color. When it just burn, you need to see the color of the flame. Okay, test the gas released with the lime water. Again, using the lime water. Okay, test the droplets of the liquid formed on the filter funnel with the dry cobalt chloride paper. So from here, they want to test about the color and also the lime water. Lime water means we want to test about what gas to come out. Lah. If the gas, they never make the lime water become choky, they mean okay, there's a not carbon dioxide. Maybe it's other gas. Okay, so we go to see. Okay, everybody know when combustion, sure they produce carbon dioxide, is it? So we're going to see the result. Okay, this one is another chemical. Later we see the result first. Huh? Another chemical process using alcohol. That's an esterification. Okay, esterification means they produce ester. Okay, anybody here, they know what means of the ester? Esterification. What is the ester? Okay, esterification. It's a process. Okay, you know perfume, is it? Perfume, you buy got so many different flavor one. I want to buy strawberry one. I want to buy the beach one. Ah, that one we call ester. The original is called ester. How we go to produce. Okay, now we go and see out what's uh, esterification by using alcohol. Okay, again, they measure 20 cmq of the ethanol. Ethanol, again, uh, that's the alcohol. And also 2 cmq of the ethanoid. Uh, you see, this one is another alcohol, but this one is the ethanoid. It's more complex. Acid. They put the acid and also alcohol using the, <coughs> sorry, I'm going to do the correction. NOL, alcohol. NOIC, not alcohol. Uh. This one is the acid. Okay, using a measuring the cylinder and pour both of the liquid into the boiling point. So you can see the diagram, ethanol and also acid mixed together. Shake. Okay, shake the boiling tube. Now you add five drops of the concentrate sulfuric acid. So that means you're not only using ethanol acid, you need to put the sulfuric acid into the boiling tube, mixed in a firm chamber, film chamber. So after that, that means you got gas to come out. Right? You cannot go to smell it. That means they put inside the fuel chamber. That means let the gas to release outside. So you need to shake the boiling tube. Heat. Uh, remember, must heat. If not heat, they cannot mix together. Now you go to heat the mixtures for several minutes. Pour the uh, mixtures into the beaker. Fill with the water. They must have the water. Then you pour inside. Observe and record the characteristic of products okay after finish to mix uh to beat uh, to heat it then you pour up you can smell there's a one of the a uh, very strong smell not like your perfume before already add something okay they add the flavor go in the apple they put in that means you got apple smell this one is no this one is an original so from here you can find it combustion burn in the a to produce carbon dioxide and water vapor. Okay, water vapor means you got gas lah. Okay, gas is a carbon dioxide lah. Okay, so from here the equation alcohol plus oxygen. Okay, because your alcohol must burn, must have oxygen. So they produce a carbon dioxide and also some of the water vapor. 
Okay, esterification means just now we do alcohol react with the organic acid to produce ester and water. Okay, they produce the ester. Ester means there's a perfume. Okay, one type of the perfume. Ester is a chemical compound that have the presence now and also used in the food, perfume, cosmetic, and the others. Example of the food, you want the different flavor. Uh, they also got put. Example, not perfume, only your car, you want to put something smelly one. They also is using the ester. Then the cosmetic, uh, cosmetic, they got different lipstick. Lipstick also got different smell. Uh, uh, that one, okay? So that means they need the alcohol to produce these all things. Anything, they got different flavor, that means you add the ester. Okay? So this one, ester, how to produce? Through the uh, esterification by using alcohol. Okay, so everything now you go to buy, they got different flavor, that means they're using the ester to put in. Okay, so this is a one of the process, esterification, alcohol plus organic acid produce the ester and water. This one is the original. Okay, after you want to change about the flavor, that means you need to add, you need to mix. You want lavender la, you want rose la, other one you go to mix. This one is all big. Okay, so from here we go through to the uses of alcohol in daily life. Okay, your daily life you can see the first one we are using by fuel. Okay, fuel got alcohol. Alcohol is a good fuel because this organic carbon compound is highly flammable okay burn with the blue flame everybody know that like, the blue flame and the orange one sure it's a blue is a high temperature heat up faster okay and also produce a complete and clean combustion without the soot so that means some got soot they produce a very dark one okay after burn you see the pot all become dark color that one is a combustion soot if alcohol you go to burn, actually they don't have any the dark color smoke or dark color soot to produce. That one is a good combustion. But alcohol expensive. Lah. How come you're using alcohol go to burn? Okay. So from here, the example, we use the alcohol in a fuel. Okay. In the burning combustions. Okay. So this one is why we choose alcohol. But alcohol very expensive. But we cannot use for the uh, longer time so that's why they produce some of the gas uh, that's a very dark color gas to produce after you burn that means that one is a normal one they never add about the alcohol that means they still got any the uh, plumbum inside there so we need to filter this all thing by using the pure alcohol that means when you just produce the flame that's a strong blue color high temperature number two is without any soot Without any soot, that means they can reduce the pollutions. Number two, you always use now medical alcohol. Alcohol used as an antiseptic. Okay, they can kill the bacteria and also disinfect uh, to kill the microorganism. And it is also used as a solvent for various type of medicine. Now everybody keep to using, okay, sanitizer, okay, you see, 10%, okay, what's the, that, the name we call it is a iso, isopropene, okay, this one is a one, another name for the alcohol, so you see isopropene alcohol, okay, around how many percent, 70% of the solutions, so this one, that means when you're just touching your hand, it's just like the uh, liquid, then after that, you find your hand become a little bit cool, then they're faster to evaporate no more already. Okay, so that one is uh, alcohol. Okay, then we call cosmetic. They're also using for the cosmetic. Okay, so from here, alcohol also used for the solvent, for the various of the cosmetic, such as a uh, perfume, lotion, and lipstick. Okay, lotion, actually, there's a no, 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 the smelly one. Uh. Just you go to add some of the different flavor, they got the smelly. So from here, they got perfume. 
perfume also got different smelly lah. So you go to how to create the perf uh, the uh, fermentation, the ester relations. After that, you can see what you want to add to the ester. Then you got lotions. Then you got lipstick. This one is a some application for the alcohol in the cosmetic. Okay, then alcohol also using for the industry. Uh, industry, I think everybody will know. Okay, first one, alcohol also used for the solvent in the pain. Uh, pain, they're using the uh, alcohol, varnish, liquid cleaner. So from here, the pain, solvent of the pain. Then this one, uh, varnish. Then they change the color, lah. they put the color. Then after that, then we got liquid cleaner. Okay, liquid cleaner, they also can use in the alcohol to mix together with the uh, with the chemical object. So this one is a function for the alcohol in the daily life. So important, you need to remember the first one they're using for the field. Number two, they're using for the medical. Number three, they're using for the industry. Number four, they're using for the cosmetic. Okay, this one is a useful for the alcohol in our daily life, not only for drink lah. Okay, then we need to see the effect uh, if you over to take it. Okay, over to take it. First one, they cause about addictions. So that means you cannot stop, lah. keep to drinks. Number two, the pregnant woman who are consumed a lot of the alcohol at the risk of defected in their baby, we call it as a fetal alcohol syndrome. Okay, that means the feeder they already uh, marble in the in when the pregnant woman. So this one is a problem. Normally the pregnant woman cannot take about the alcohol. Okay, causes the damage of the brain cell. Okay, affecting the coordination and also the nervous system. That means you become slow motion already. Okay, you not realize anything happened. Then loss of the body balancing defected. And also difficulty in estimate the distance. So that's why I call you after drink, don't drive. Then blur vision, cannot see clear. Increase in heartbeat. Uh, your heartbeat become increasing rate and blood pressure. Then after that, they damage the liver cell and also can cause about the cirrhosis and liver cancer. Okay? So that means your liver become uh, got one of the become dry, become dry, become very small size. That means bung, not bengkak, you know, kurus, become smaller and smaller. Then after that, they got liver cancer. Then after that, damage the kidney. Uh, you see, got so many effects from the alcohol. So now we're going to see the last part. If you over drink. Okay, first one, you see, slow down. Your brain thinking is slow down. Number two, your motion. You also do know what are you doing. Okay, sudden, suddenly your mood is swinging. You also do know. Over, over excited. After that, you can see loss about the motor coordination. You cannot control your body already. Okay, next part, stroke. Okay, if high blood pressure, then there will stroke. Then we got liver. Uh, this one is not your heartbeat. Okay, increase the habit, irregular for the habit. Then after that, your liver, fatty liver. Okay, this is a one of that will cause about by the over drinking about the alcohol. Okay, so from here, if here you go, bra, okay, brother, go to drink. Okay, what happened finally? I go here lah. Okay, if more over and over to drink. Finally, uh, we'll see you in hospital. Lah. Okay, so from here, we just this topic about the alcohol. Alcohol, how to produce. Okay, they got equation. After that, alcohol used to wear. And also, what's the effect of the alcohol? Just like this only. Okay, oh, bye everyone. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye. Thank you.